my daughter wants to get involved in, in film school. That's really her dream. She wants to be a, a film editor. And uh, any tips that you would give for people that want to get involved in either screenwriting or into film and any industry, what would you recommend? Well, I'll tell you, I, I'm a very big believer in reading and writing, but also consuming and doing, it, it, depending on if you're going into writing or if you're going into something, you know, like directing or editing. I, I think by consuming a lot of TV shows and movies, you know, if you're a writer, certainly reading a lot of scripts, uh, I think that's, you know, the best education you can have. You know, I think you learn as much from the great movies and TV shows as you do from the really horrific ones. You know, I, for those people going to film school, um, the one thing I would caution is that, you know, I, my, both my brothers went to film school, one, one for directing, the other for writing. And I, the pitfall, the one pitfall I've sort of noticed is, is that teaching someone an art, and that's what, you know, anything in entertainment is, it's an art form as much as a craft, you can sort of fall into the bad habit of, of feeling like there are rules as opposed to guidelines. So what I'd, I'd say to your daughter is go to film school, soak it up like a sponge, but just remember that what you would be doing as an editor is an art form. And in an art form, there are no rules. You know, even the, the guidelines are, are made to be broken. So that's, that's my, my general advice about, you know, the, the subject of film school. But I think, uh, you know, the consuming and doing um, is really the best education. And I admit I'm, I'm giving very uh, self-centered advice because, you know, that's, that's the way I broke in. That's the way I developed my craft. I, I went to law school. I didn't go to film school. No, I totally get that. I, um, I got into writing poetry in college. And um, <clears throat> for me, I started by copying what other people were doing. So I wanted to, I, I would write poetry like Shakespeare or I'd write poetry like T.S. Eliot. And I spent a long time trying to sound like other people. And it took me a very long time before I threw all that out and just started writing like myself. And I guess that's kind of the pitfall that you that you uh, get caught up in trying to follow all the rules, and you don't just uh, allow yourself to be creative. But that is good advice. Thank you.